all of me some Miguel's and possible. I'm Miguel's. My name is Taff316. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments. It's Thursday, so let's read some comments. When you get 10k subs, you need to get 10k subs from Subway. Well, that would probably kill me, but sometimes for the content, you gotta make sacrifices. Do the Inbetweeners movie for 10k. I'm gonna do the Inbetweeners movie after I finish the Inbetweeners show. By the way, I just uploaded episode 10 of that today. If you haven't watched it, it uh, came out probably a couple hours before this. I think there's eight episodes right so we're more than halfway there you should visit the UK I wish it was that easy but like a couple of factors are I'm broke and I don't have a passport either <laughs> I need to get up and get some money first to get a passport I had to work out where I would where in the UK I would go where I would stay when I go there it's it's a process going to another country man it really is try finding some episodes of early doors a very British very character driven sitcom set in a back Street Manchester Pub. Made by the BBC, it's a brilliant observational comedy with top quality script and cast. One of the best but underrated comedy shows ever made. Well, if it's BBC, it's probably Vimeo. So I'd like to gauge interest on that. Anybody interested in seeing uh, Early Doors? That's what it's called. Anyone ever interested in seeing that? If so, maybe I'll look into it. Can you recommend these shows? Walking with Monsters, Walking with Dinosaurs, Walking with Beasts. I'm sensing a theme here. Prehistoric Park, Wild at Heart, Dave Allen, Spider. You can find a full series on YouTube by the creator since hour long. Uh, so let's see. Walking with Monsters, Dinosaurs, and Beasts throw BBC, Prehistoric Park, Wild at Heart, uh, or ITV. Dave Allen's both ITV and BBC, kind of like Men Behaving Badly. And Spider is CBBC. Interesting. Well, uh, the ITV ones I know for a fact I can put on YouTube. Usually, with the BBC is usually pretty chill with old killed kid shows, though, to be honest. So those may be fine as well. By the way, one, this is a little bit off topic, but I guess BBC Scotland really doesn't give a shit. Like, all three uh, videos I've done on Still Game are monetized. They all did have copyright claims, and they removed all of them. So I guess BBC Scotland does not care. Can you react to Deal or No Deal with Noel Edmonds? You know, they used to have that show here. I don't know where it originated. I'm not sure if it originated in... I I'm, don't think it originated. Yeah, you know, it did not originate in America. It was a spinoff from somewhere else. I don't know if it originated in the UK or where the hell it originated, but I think when we had it here, it was hosted by Howie, 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 Man Mandel, Howie Mandel, that's his name. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see the UK version of that, honestly, or maybe the original version, wherever it's from. Doctor Who and Misfits seems to be those programs where the fans are obsessive and passionate. Not something I or most people I know would choose to watch. By the way, you're the only YouTuber reactor I subscribe to. I find you funny, endearing, especially kind of older than years persona you're rocking. Well, I appreciate that. Um, uh, does persona... I, I don't know what persona implies. Persona implies that it's like a character, because it's not a character. It's just me, but um, I guess persona just implies who you... What the hell's definition of persona? I'm going to look it up. You know what? I'm not just going to sit here and ask a question and then just not know shit. I'm going to look up what the fuck persona means, because I don't know. The aspect of someone's character that is presented to or perceived by others. Okay, well then that's accurate. Fair enough. Um, as far as Doctor Who and Misfits uh, being programs where the fans are obsessive or passionate, I don't know the fan bases well enough to know if that's a valid argument or not, to be honest with you. At 10k subs, you should react to US pilots, uh, both of them, of Red Dwarf. Ooh, I should do that, whether it's 10k subs or not. I should do that regardless. I mean... Oh, I, I heard about that. They tried to make Red Dwarf in the U.S. twice and failed both times. I definitely got to check that out. When will you feature me, Noah? When? I love your videos. Uh, keep up the good work, mate. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. And now you're featured. I think I may have said it before. Sorry if I have, but could you react to Gimme, Gimme, Gimme? You know, uh, my friend Theresa, who um, uh, I saw uh, on my Twitch stream the other day, she actually linked me an episode of that, and I downloaded it. So yeah, we'll be doing that. Do you know when the Vimeo movie trial run is coming? You know, I, I've been talking about Plague Dogs forever. I have, I've had that in my folder forever, and I still definitely want to do it. Um, I just don't know when. I don't know if I can fit it in this month, but I should definitely try to get that done by at least August. How'd you come up with your handle, Taff316? Well, Taff's my last name, so that's very simple. Uh, the 316 was, most people uh, seem to think it was a religious thing from the Bible, because the, I guess, Bible versus John 316. And it's kind of related to that, but no, my favorite wrestler growing up was Stone Cold Steve Austin, and his nickname was Austin316, and he originated that in a promo where he talked about John316, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Me and a couple of friends did the Lord of the Rings marathon, uh, one day, 
three longest films back to back had square eyes after that. If you want a real challenge, try doing all three Hobbit movies and then all three Lord of the Rings movie back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Well, we don't want Piers Morgan, neither do you. How about we compromise and put him in an anchored boat in the middle of the ocean halfway between America and the UK? Sounds good to me. The porn ban was recently cancelled because Chrome and Firefox uh, will have encrypted DNS later this year, which means they won't be able to make a login screen appear before you go on a site. Oh, well, what are they going to do? Ban Chrome and Firefox? <laughs> in the UK, males aren't circumcised at birth unless for religious reasons. However, they can still be circumcised for medical reasons, which usually happens later in childhood. Having it done for medical reasons is more common than religious reasons in the UK. I would imagine it's probably around one every 100 males that are circumcised in the UK. Yeah, that's interesting. In America, it's just like a normal thing. Like, I think like at least two thirds, if not more, of American males, it might be like over 70%, if not higher than that, um, are, are circumcised. So yeah, in America, it's just a normal thing. As much as I love Only Fools, I would only recommend one more episode or you will end up doing them forever. Try A Touch of Glass. It has one of the most iconic moments in, iconic comedy moments in UK uh, television history. Uh, if you did decide to do one more, there are others I would suggest, including more uh, some more emotional ones, which they did so well. I, I understand that argument uh, about only doing one more, you're doing them forever. And you're probably right. But at the same time, if there's a high demand for it, uh, and the audience is still interested in it, and the views that I get for it um, uh, are equivalent to that demand, then I probably will keep doing it. If you do an Ever Only Fools and Horses episode, I recommend Touch of Glass or Yuppie Love. Yeah, I mean, with Only Fools, considering I just started in like Series 6 or whatever, and we're not going in order, just throw episodes at me. I'll just go randomly. Can you please react to Bad Education? What's that? A documentary about the American school system? Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Counselor Murray was played by Angelina Bruce, who starred as Deb Lister, uh, Dave Lister's female counterpart in a Red Dwarf episode, Parallel Universe, where Dave gets pregnant. I feel another Red Dwarf episode should be on the cards. Dave gets pregnant? What the fuck? I feel another Red Dwarf episode should be on the cards. Yeah, I mean, Red Dwarf... Peep Show and Vicar of Dibley, for that matter, all did well enough to warrant a sequel. It's just I've done so many sequels recently. I did the third Still Game video, I did the second Only Fools video, I just did In Betweeners 10, I've got Doctor Who 4 coming, so I might have to hold off on those a little bit. Voice of Count Duckula is David Jason, who was Del Boy from Only Fools and Horses. Well, damn, he's Batman and a vampire duck. How about that? He's a vegetarian vampire duck, thank you. Oh, my mistake. I guess blood is a vegetarian drink. I'm sad, I've watched your Vincent reaction four times, which is silly with, uh, when I have it on demand. It's funnier when someone else is reacting to stuff. I'm glad I hit uh, 1k over there now. Yeah, actually, that video got a little bit of a boost uh, from the Only Fools video. It was at, like, a little under 1k, but then the Only Fools video actually gave it a boost. And it's at, like, uh, 1100 now. I would like to see a remake of Count Duckula. I mean, I don't know if spin-offs usually get remakes, but then again, Danger Mouse got one, so I wouldn't rule it out of the realm of possibility. The Who Might You Be skit was based on a classic Abbott and Costello routine from the 50s called Baseball, uh, or Who's on First. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, a triple, uh, where all the players on the bases have confusing names. So yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah, that, okay, that makes sense. I feel like a lot of jokes actually come back to Abbott and Costello, and we don't even know it. Alright, y'all, that's gonna do it for another episode of reading your comments. Per usual, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. I might read it next week. Uh, as usual, if you want to see, well, not as usual, but as of today, if you want to see the reaction video I posted a couple hours ago, my 10th reaction to Betweeners live on Vimeo, you can check that out. Probably near the end of this video, they will be like, you know, you know how I do little like, annotations things like here and here, uh, like around like here, there'll probably be a link to that. But, that is going to do it uh, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel, Free Steam Views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon if you want to support me. Thank you to all 12 now of my patrons who are, or who are, try saying that five times fast, probably can, who are, who are, who are, who are, okay, it's not hard, but thank you to all 12 of my patrons who are currently linked in the description, currently named in the description. I appreciate all of you very much. I appreciate everyone who watched this, uh, as well as my Vimeo, as well as also in the description where you again you can see the Inbetweeners episode I just posted. Uh, my reactions to all of my reactions to Inbetweeners, uh, Only Fools and Horses, Red Dwarf, Peep Show, etc., etc., etc. Also in the descriptions like my schedule where you can see what's going to be posted on the channel every single day. But all that being said, my name is Tav Fritz's team. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.